One of the biggest challenges I had when I first started putting on my own connectors to coaxial cables was stripping or, or separating this shield from the center conductor without breaking anything and getting all of this braid unbraided. Whether you're using the old school PL259s where you gotta solder the shield to the connector or you're using kind of the, a, a newer, if you will, style crimp on or you're using some of these beautiful Messi and Poloni Evo connectors that are this kind of compression fitting, they all need to attach the shield of the cable to the connector. And for the longest time, I was using, uh, this is a dental pick, and I would slowly get in there and dig away and, and try and separate the braid, but inevitably, uh, pieces would break off and it just it was kind of a pain in the butt. That was until I went to Ancona, Italy to visit Messi and Poloni, and I learned the simplest solution to separating the shield with a tool that you already, well, you hopefully already have at your house right now. This will cost you zero dollars. It is the Humble Toothbrush. Let me show you. So we've got a number of coaxial cables. We've got some generic RG174. This is Messi and Poloni's Ultraflex 7. This is Messi and Poloni. I think this is Hyperflex 10. It's definitely a 10, 400. Um, this is RG213 from ABR Industries, and this is ABR Industries ABR 600. Very, very beefy cable. So what this does is allows very easy manipulation of these fine wires that make up the shield of the coax. So on the RG174, you can see we can just, this you really don't need to do this, but you're just very gently separating that shield from the center conductor. Okay, how easy was that? With the Messi and Poloni Ultra Flex 7, I like to kinda go in and, and the rest of these moving forward, separate it a little bit, and then you just kinda take the toothbrush, spin the coax as you're, as you're brushing, and it's gradually unbraiding that shield. We're not harming the cable in any way. Nice and gentle. I think this is a soft bristle for what it's worth. And look at that. Wonderful. So now you can trim that install your connector. Beautiful, right? Okay. Let's try it on the Messi and Poloni. This is a 10 millimeter or 400 in, Ingo in American units. Same thing here. We just get our toothbrush and we can just go around and unbraid some pieces of this are falling off. I probably wasn't very delicate when I was cutting the jacket off of this, but you get the idea, right? Very, very gentle with our coax. We don't want to lose any strands. And look at that. Huh? Okay. So there's a, this would be like LMR 400 Ultra Flex in terms of size, but it's better because it's messy and Poloni. RG213. For maybe our industries, same thing. Just separate it a little bit at the top and we can start brushing. Start revealing that center dielectric. And just gradually unbraiding this shield. Yeah, 
Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, there's your RG213. Now, admittedly, I've not tried this on this 600 cable, but I kind of want this stuff. This stuff is a beast. Look at that. Look at that center conductor. <laughs> this is some unwieldy coax. So again, same thing applies. Oh, that's actually going really easy. Look at that. A 13 millimeter cable. We just unbraided. Yeah, we got some pieces falling off. That's not because of this technique. That's because I used a razor blade to strip the jacket off here. Not being very diligent to not cut them. Just as an example. Look at that. Okay. And then when you're done, you put this back in your wife's toothbrush holder. No, don't really do that. This lives in my toolbox. Look at that. From RG174 to ABR600, all of those shields are nice and stripped, ready to accept our connector just like that. That's all we have for today. My name is Mike. Thanks for watching. K uh, what is this called? Ham Radio Tube. See you, see you next time, 73.